Welcome back to another review by Mega Train Lover. Today we are having a look at a, another new locomotive, and as you can see, it's by Hornby. And you can probably tell from the outline, but it is a standard class 4MT by British Rail. And you can also see that it's weathered as well. Now, on the box it does say DCC ready, but this particular one has been DCC fitted. Um, and it was an absolute bargain price. It was about £60. Um, it is an older model. It, it is from about 2009 or so. Um, it was, I think it's one of the first uh, four MTs which Hornby produced, but um, nonetheless, it is a beautiful model, and, well, you'll, you'll see. Anyway, if we turn to the back, you can see there's tons of information about this particular class. So, there were 80 standard fours built between 1951 and 1957, and all of them were built at Swindon Works. Um, 80, oh, that's a bit strange, I thought, I thought there were more of them, um, built, but, um, anyway, so, it, it does actually say, you know, where the, where the different numbers were allocated, so, this, so, basically, 75,000 to, through to 75,064 were all allocated to either the Midland or the Western region, and then seven and then seventy five thousand and sixty five to seventy five thousand and seventy nine were all allocated to the southern region, and the southern region once had bigger tenders as they didn't have water troughs on the on the southern um this particular one number seventy five zero seven o was allocated to the southern region um and it was out shopped in nineteen fifty five but it was withdrawn in 1966, and it was cut up the following year in 1967. So, um, but it does say here that five of them have been restored. Um, well, six, well actually six technically, but um, the sixth one hasn't been restored yet. So uh, six have survived into preservation, but five of them have been restored to working order. Now, the model itself is not in the box, because the model is right here. Just put this to one side. And here is the model. Now, I have to be quite careful, because as you can see, there is a wire between the tender and the engine. Um, but I'll just quickly remove that off camera, and we'll have a look at the locomotive in closer detail. So having chopped the locomotive in half, <laughs> um, we can now take a much better look at the locomotive. And here she is. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, the detail on this is just exquisite. Absolutely exquisite. Yep, yeah, you do get sprung buffers, which are weathered as well. And just look at the valve gear and the connecting rods. Um, these are weathered too, but wow, <laughs> that's just just looks beautiful. Um, all this detail here, all this piping around the cab and the handrails as well, all of these are separately fitted. They're not moulded on, which is a really nice touch. Even the even the sort of smoke box door handle at the front, that's separately fitted. Um, you get the modern high voltage signs at the front, but these were obviously used on the southern region where, you know, electricity is pretty much, it's pretty much all over the place with the third rail. Um, I feel the most impressive part of the locomotive is the cap, well one of the most impressive parts of the leaf, but just look at that cap. Everything is where it should be and it's all separately fitted just beautifully painted. Um, now being a st BL standard, the driver sat on the left hand, well pretty much all, all British locomotives except for the western region locomotives were left hand drive. But um, wow, just look, you see the regulator handle separately painted um, along with other details and you can also see the seat there as well. And there's its number, 75070, and it just says 4, 
um, because it's mixed traffic um, it doesn't state you know that it is a mixed traffic engine um, it wouldn't say 4 MT you know if it was for passenger or freight then it would say you know 4F 4, 4P um, but you can also see all this further detail is all separately fitted which is very very nice now these standards were designed for ease of maintenance so a lot of the parts are exposed um, as opposed to you know older designs and you can see the brake rods on the bottom which um, were fitted separately um, but you obviously get them in a detail pack in the box and there's the wire which connects to the tender and this particular one is a double chimney version and wow that is just beautifully replicated well and even at the front just look at the the brake the vacuum brake pipes um, well that is just amazing and you get the um, chain link coupling just wow it just looks amazing it's just just no words and also a really nice touch is that the cab roof vents open you see and they both close individually um, but um, yeah that is really really nice and I love the weather I just love the weathering effect it look makes it look really really worked out but you know overall it is a really nice model now let's have a look at the tender which like the local like the engine is just as well detailed um, so you get the separately painted um, sort of handles at the back one of them I believe is the handbrake the other one is for the water scoop if the, yes it does have a water scoop um, which is strange for a southern region uh, locomotive but um, yeah. uh, you do get a removable coal load there um, you should probably be careful with this one because it is just about to run out of coal <laughs> um, and there you can see the late crest logo of the British of British Rail there and even the separately painted axle boxes which looks really really nice and again sprung buffers on the back you get a separately fitted ladder you get a NEM pocket with a slim tension line slim line tension lock you get the water filler cap there and there is the number it's a 4,725 gallon tender so it's really really not it's really really high capacity water capacity that is but um, yeah on the whole this is just a beautiful locomotive now um, what I'll do I'll just get both of these hooked up off camera and we'll see how she performs So here we have the Hornby Standard Class 4MT on the track and my goodness she just looks amazing. So let's select her number which is number 54 and off she goes. Away she goes. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the way the valve gear and the connecting rods just move. Wow. Well, let's get a few shots of her passing by. Absolutely amazing. So just to conclude this video, I highly recommend her, especially if you're modeling 
British Rail, um, you know, British Rail steam setting, especially from the 50s, you need to get her. She is just an absolutely amazing model. Wow. Considering that she is, she is an older model, she's from about 2009 or so, but nonetheless the detail is just excellent. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.